Not a bad view to wake up to. Yeah, so good morning and welcome to day six of the Naipurang Trail. Uh, oh, yesterday was actually, it was better than the day before without that horrible wind which is what I think was putting me off a little bit. It was on roads all day but I didn't mind it most of it because it was beautiful scenery. There was mountains in one direction and um, ocean in the other and not just boring looking out at open ocean but islands out there and other things to look at and got to go through little villages in that as well. The only boring bit was the big long straight causeway <laughs> and uh, well the scenery is pretty the exact same view for a while not so pretty. Last night got really lucky right around where I thought Right, time to camp, just at 22k, found a, a nice little place for my tent, gorgeous views to wake up to this morning, woke up at 6.30 and it was 3 degrees, so I went back to sleep and uh, woke up an hour and a bit later and it had warmed up beautifully, so it's 9 degrees now, but that sun, no gloves needed and... Ooh, bit of a racket up here. Yeah, no gloves needed um, because there's no wind at the moment. I'm pretty sheltered where I am. Today I am on course 84. So I've got 13.8, but I've already done a bit. So 13 and a half kilometers of this course. It is all on roads and it is just following along the coastline. Looks like there's another causeway as well to go over. When I then go on to course 83, we leave the ocean, um, head inland. I'm going to go through a town where I'm going to do a resupply because I ate a little bit more yesterday than I expected. I was starting to get hungry. And then it looks like we're disappearing up into some forest. So fingers crossed it's actually trail and not road through the forest. And I'll go through the forest and then find somewhere to camp in the forest. Once again, aiming for under 25 kilometers. Um, this will be, so I'm day six. So we have one more day under 25. And then the next seven days will be up to 30 kilometers maximum. But I just see how my body feels. So if I'm feeling tired, I'll stop earlier. But I will not go over that. I'm trying to be disciplined unless there's an emergency for finding a camp spot. Right, oh, oh, oh. body is feeling all right. My shins just were very low level occasionally yesterday, apart from near the end. It's about 18K they start to feel it. So the technique is working. And the other thing that uh, I haven't shown you is I've changed my shoes. Um, I'm using elastic for the shoes, so I'm using shock cord for the shoes with a, a toggle and it means that it's not being constrained. I used to struggle to get my laces at the right tightness and I'd have bad shoe, shoe days where I'd tighten them and they'd be too tight, I'd loosen and they're too loose and just trying to get the just right. And also having too tight shoes I think is one of the contributors to the foot pain I had on the Bibberman and Heisen Trail. So, and I also really like that I don't have to do my laces when I put my shoes on and off. I can just slide them on and off and it feels comfortable. So that's a new technique that's working for me. Right, onwards. Another beautiful day. Beautiful view, ocean, mountains, mountains. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Here's a difference between New Zealand and Korea, these triangle signs. In New Zealand a triangle is only a give way sign and here they used as warning signs as well to slow. And another one is in New Zealand a corner like this it would say what the recommended speed is but here it's up to the driver to have a look and judge what it is. Whoa. Change up from walking on the tar seal. Go up and walk on the boardwalk for a bit.
This seems like a lot of effort for a, it's not exactly a built up area, that's a cows there. <laughs> There's sort of no tourists and nothing touristy. <laughs> I'm going to complain though. Gives me a raised platform, something different from seal. <laughs> and it's still beautiful. <laughs> the wind's picked up, I'm not in the sheltered area anymore. <laughs> it's, it's a bit chilly now. I love it when you get the multiple layers of hills like you can see there in the distance. It's beautiful. That's it for the Bulldog. Back to the seal road. No steps this side. <laughs> When you're road walking you need to come up with ways to amuse yourself and this one it was a chase the car's running away and someone was firing bullets at it <laughs> i'm very surprised to see uh, bullet holes here uh, guns are quite restricted in korea Ooh, a bridge up there i'm not going over it but that's where i'm turning off from the ocean and heading inland for a bit. I actually had it wrong at the my introduction. I said that the course ends when we go inland, but it's not. The course ends at a village several kilometers inland. Truck is spraying something to the side, so I'll switch side of the road to get away from it. This is a beautiful wide road, well maintained, and I have been going for an hour and a half and I've seen four cars and that truck <laughs> that's it it's been really quiet it's been lovely long and straight bit of a panorama the other side is farmland so I'm guessing this causeway has been to drain all of that land in there and allow it to become farmland my guess Strange looking thing on the hill, it looks like a hot air balloon that crashed. Weather observation or observatory? Not sure. Yesterday I forgot to celebrate 100k. I finished at 111 kilometres. I went, oh, I should have taken notice. I'll try to pay more attention for uh, the 200 kilometre mark. Yay, that's the end of the causeway. This is a gatehouse just here. This is the last of the ocean I'll see for a little while, though in two days time, <laughs> I'll be a couple of days time or maybe two or three, I'll be coming back down here. From here I am going to the town of Duam and it will be four and a half kilometres. Turning off to two lane and onto country one lane. Nice. Means I could walk in the middle of the road. The big road's been stuck to the side. All roads have a, a camber, so an angle. So if you're always on one side of the road, then it's actually quite hard on your legs. Whereas if I'm on a road like this, then I just change which side of the road I'm on every corner. So I'm using slightly different muscles because my legs are actually twinging in various places going along there. I'm stopping and stretching a lot. Um, outer hamstring, uh, shin, top of foot, I had a hip for a little while, I had this on Pacific Crest Trail in one day where the niggles just moved around the body in that one day and then it was fine and they all disappeared but they all sort of, each part of the body took a different turn. So hopefully that's what it is today but it is a lot harder on the body been on all of these roads so I'll be feeling it a lot more than my other through hikes and I'm sure that's what it is it's nothing to do with the fact that I'm getting a lot older than when I did my first through hike <laughs> oh bigger roads <laughs> oh too slow it's a pheasant <laughs> wow <laughs> and I'm off that little weedy road and back onto a two-lane road it's still not very busy and off the two lane back onto a single lane beautiful scenery in the back lot of rocky mountains be hard hiking in amongst those <laughs> oh 
Oh, there's a dose of cuteness for the day. <laughs> Aren't they cute? <laughs> there's mum, she's actually been friendly. And there's a hiker. <laughs> he actually looks to be going for a day hike. Decent sized pack. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Oh, it's a nice lake in there. <laughs> I'm being followed by mum and pups. <laughs> So this is where water floats end up. <laughs> it's nice in here. It's different scenery, a bit of a change from being beside the sea. There's a clearer view of the inside of a cow shed. <laughs> and they never go outside because there's no grass outside. Every piece of land is in crops. Back into a bigger road. There's been uh, lots of graves around. I actually saw some people doing a memorial at one of their graves. And just about at the village now, which is the end of course 84. And I shall stop and have some lunch and do a resupply. <laughs> nice little calm, peaceful park in there. If I didn't have restaurants ahead, I might stop for a break. <laughs> but a big lunch is calling. All built-in murals on the main street. Now I've just got to find a restaurant. Found a restaurant pretty quick, and I actually had a beautiful dish, chun chum pyong. <laughs> Basically, noodles with a really thick black sauce, a um, little bit of pork and onion and carrot, and then the usual sides as well. I love the pickled. Don't know what it is. It was bright yellow. It's not radish because it's quite big but anyway it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> you never have to go far to find a food place in towns in Korea there are a lot of restaurants Oof, right now I need a supermarket to resupply resupply just done <laughs> what I found is the, um, the small supermarkets are actually a very limited use because they sell everything in bulk and I don't want five of <laughs> everything um, which is a, it's a little annoying the convenience stores are much, much better. The other thing is trying to find rubbish bins is always an issue. <laughs> the supermarket had no chocolate bars. <laughs> it's really weird. Not even in bulk. No chocolate bars at all. Did have a couple of um, nut type bars. So I've got some of those. I've got a sausage. <laughs> it was one of the few single serve things it's got. And I've ended up with chips some roasted squid and um, I think fake bacon bits <laughs> to use as my snacks as I'm going along. So um, the back pouch of my pack where I keep fragile food is getting a good workout. Just by the supermarket. <laughs> oh, I missed it. All right, down this little side lane. <laughs> haven't found any for rubbish. Looks like I have to keep carrying it. Didn't find a bin, but I found someone had their rubbish out ready to be collected. <laughs> Leaving the town, I thought this bridge was a change of course, but <laughs> I've been wrong many times with that. Heading this way, got just under 2k to what I think might be a trail. I am ever hopeful. I was thinking back to that lunch and those noodles went, came out and went, oh that is massive. I know that most meals here are very big portions but I managed to polish it off. Usually my hiker hunger, which is what you call it when you're absolutely ravenous from uh, all of the walking, usually for me that doesn't kick in for sort of a month to six weeks but on this trail I'm already hungry. <laughs> By the map, <laughs> I'm going in the foothills of these, and that's where it's looking like trail. And my fingers are desperately crossed to get some beautiful trail because it'd be nice in those. Oh, this is looking promising. <laughs> There's no cars going up there. I'm assuming I am on course 83 now. So course 83 is 18k, six and a half hour, rating medium, which is another reason I think there may be trails. <laughs> oh, 
there's a trail. Got my hiking poles back out. Even though it's a hill, I'm happy, happy. Woohoo! Oh, beautiful to be up high <laughs> and on a beautiful trail. Woo! Still got a bit more climbing and then uh, dropping down a bit. Lots of these pink flowers everywhere. <laughs> So the mountain above me is Sakun Sun, though I don't actually go all the way up it. Oh, this is fun! So we've stopped the steady climbing, now it's undulating as we're going around the side of the hill. <laughs> Beautiful trail. Quite a few butterflies out as well. The other great thing about being on the forest is the wind <laughs> I'm actually short sleeves for the first time in a while because the trees are blocking the wind and the Sun is out in full force and it's a beautiful day <laughs> I think you can tell I'm happy to be back on the trails for me the roads are interesting and you learn a little bit about the culture but to me the roads are a way to get to the trails and I just love being in the trails like this. So you can go up and climb the mountain. But continuing this way around the foothills. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is beautiful. There's a viewpoint up ahead. It's confirmation. I am on course 83. That's where I've come from. <laughs> Like we get to cross the road on a bridge. <laughs> Another viewpoint up there, which I'll see if I go to, and nice little picnic area there as well. Woohoo! Back in the mountains. <laughs> Wow, that is a massive bridge <laughs> for a two-lane road. <laughs> if you start off from down low, you get the teeny weeny little bridge, but uh, woohoo! And <laughs> Ooh. I like the glass panels here, testing your fear of heights. Having a look down. <laughs> oh wow, this is so cool. <laughs> I survived on the cross. There's actually a lot of movement on that bridge. It's quite windy. <laughs> it's bouncing up and down and side to side. It's a cute little photo place. There was one on the other side as well. <laughs> Apparently you're meant to take selfies here, but I think you're meant to be with someone else. Most of the ribbons lead up, but we're going around the side. <laughs> I still can't get over it. So those are the stairs if you were coming up from the road. <laughs> Some zigzags! Zigzag, zigzag! Or switch back for you Americans. <laughs> We get to go over the little bridge now. I am guessing this is a very popular spot. <laughs> Given all of the, I'm assuming, picnic platforms or tent platforms, picnic benches. It's quite a big area. And there's more. You can swim down in the river as well down there. They've got an emergency life jacket. So I'm assuming you can swim, or oh, that's just in case someone fell down. Even more down here. <laughs> Crossing back over the bridge, I was hoping it would be trail again. I see a concrete road. <laughs> you can see why people want a picnic here. It's beautiful. <laughs> nah, not so much that way. <laughs> the concrete is just to get up this very steep part and we are back to dirt Woohoo! 
and across the road. <laughs> oh, it's a different butterfly. It's another butterfly over here. It's all closed up at the moment. This trail, I thought it was going to be a old vehicle track, but it's actually narrowed down to a lovely single trail, single track rather. But the it's a bit smoother than the one on the other side of the bridge. It's still lovely, and getting further away from the traffic. So the other one had constant sound of the cars on the road below, but now it's just. The wind through the trees and the birds, beautiful. Oh, going on to a sealed road. Oh, this perhaps needs some uh, maintenance. <laughs> Just jump over. Uh, hopefully we're turning off. Just saw another, what I think was pheasant, and a really long tail and a bit bigger. It was all brown. Um, right. And this way, off the seal, which is lovely. It is a, a road, but a dirt road, but it might narrow down again. Yeah, the uh, road is so washed away now, I think I could call this single track. <laughs> and another trail, the Nando Scenic Trail. I've seen it for a while, but I can't read the fancy scripts. So I can only read it when it's like that. Nando Scenic Trail and Fates Trail. <laughs> so, guessing we're here. So, we've been with them. Oh, so it started at the town. Um, and continuing on for a bit longer. It's roughly the direction we're going. So, obviously, the two trails have merged. Love Cloud Bridge. <laughs> That's the name of the bridge. Oh, more graves. Beautifully presented and looked after. Big solar farm down there. <laughs> Off the single trail onto a nice forest road. Don't mind this. <laughs> it's still nice and soft under my feet. The sun's disappearing and some grey clouds are going across. Which is not great. The last weather forecast I looked at had it been. Um, Beautiful weather today, cloudy for the next couple of days, today's Friday, and then Monday and Tuesday meant to rain and then clear up again. So we'll see how accurate it is. More trails in here. So this side is Namdo Scenic Trail, where you can feel the refreshing mountain wind in the presence of scholar Dasan Jong Yakyong. So Jonan's representative temple, Dasan's garden, and a finishing touch to the trail located on... Jukasan Mountain, filled with the energy of Baku Deegan. We present you with the gift of finding oneself among the rustling leaves, small pebbles, and natural scents. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so it's Fate Strail, Ego Strail, Peace Strail. We are here. Anyway, changing forest road. We're now <laughs> heading up a different forest road. It's funny, my legs were sore on the roads and shin and um, different parts of the body <laughs> come on the trails and gone, completely gone. My legs feel good, though it is at the end of the day, so I'm, I'm not high energy at the moment, but I definitely don't have any aches and pains, which is beautiful. Uh, currently at 19k, uh, so I've still got a few more k before I'll look for a tent site. It is pure single track now and beautiful track. Just come out of the forest but I think we just sort of zigzag along the edge. I know there is a part where we're out of the forest but then go back in and it's when we go back in I'm going to look for a campsite. Single <laughs> tree. A little bit more country and then into the trees up there. <laughs> the uh, signpost is very good, I think, because it's a couple of trails all come together. And see well in advance where I need to be going. And this is what happens to the cow dung. <laughs> it's put in a trailer and then scattered throughout the fields like this to act as fertiliser. It's quite a cool machine. <laughs> 
Off the roads. That's still sealed. <laughs> but at least it's in trees. Sheltered. That wind is picking up again. I follow along this road, along the side for about another K, and then the trail turns and heads up the hill quite steeply. So potentially I might want to find a tent site before we start heading up, but we'll see. <laughs> the big information board says the same things. Dasan Museum. Interesting. <laughs> Wouldn't have been expecting a museum, and I think that's a observatory, spa, food, house, hotel or a homestay. Anyway, <laughs> can't beat my tent. It's a big complex in here. It's the observatory from the photo. <laughs> okay, I am not camping down here. I'll have to continue up and then uh, hopefully find somebody once we come back down again. So this place is about a guy called Yong Yak Yong, um, pen name Dasan, who is a big scholar, wrote lots and lots of books, um, and he was exiled when his friend the king uh, passed away as a result of Catholic persecution. So that's what all of this complex here is about, and uh, there's buildings up the hill as well. All right, so. We get to follow his path. Heading up there. This stuff seems to be very effective. It's got really good grip, makes it nice to walk up the hill and looks like it would last for quite a while as well and not get uh, washed away. A few future hikers, there is a toilet up here. <laughs> This is the house, uh, it's three rooms, <laughs> pretty bare, all right, and climbing some more. A few people on this path, <laughs> definitely not camping around here, <laughs> need to find somewhere a bit quieter. Oh, that's a good hill, <laughs> and up the high point, now heading back down the other side, and I'm at 22 and a half k, so now I've got my lookout for a nice place to tent. Beautiful places there, but <laughs> too many people around still. That's the trouble when I'm still doing the low distances. I'm camping quite early. It's only three o'clock, which is not ideal. True stealth camping is you only put your tent up when it's dark and then you're up and gone the next morning. But I'm not true stealth camping. I'm actually camping where I'm meant to. It's just, or where it's not banned, it's probably the better word. Um, I definitely respect if I ever see a sign saying no camping, then I will not camp there. Ah, nice trail, wide trail. It's still in a beautiful forest. Got a bit of a sweat up going up that hill. It wasn't much. I'm only at 177 metres by my watch. <laughs> wrong I haven't finished climbing <laughs> nice lookout point down there or up there rather <laughs> I've come from that way and heading down next spot is a temple we go past is <laughs> hard on the knees <laughs> there's a lot of steps down that was a fair bit this here is tea <laughs> all right now we're getting down there's a uh, temple in there and heading down now. Well, that is lovely, seeing a bit of history and a bit of culture. Right, now I have to try and see the fluttering flags somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Had to check my map again and it is down the road, down to the bottom, and then we turn off. <laughs> uh, surprising a lot of people. Oh, yep, I see the flags fluttering over there. Surprising amount of people up there. It's a Friday. <laughs> Got the usual, ooh, cold, brr. <laughs> I was actually sweating quite a lot going up that hill, so um, it was legit that I was in short sleeves, but 
it is starting to cool down now. I'm not climbing a hill. I see lovely flat spots and then I notice that there's a mound next to them. <laughs> Probably not best to be setting my tent up there. Ooh, I see pine forest there. Just go on this road and have a look, see if I can find a flat bit. I'm on a side trail off the road. It's a bit steep in here though. That's a no. Off the main road. But uh, this is still a little build up. Too many people at the moment. <laughs> have to wait. I think there's some trees further over there. I think I learnt the wrong greeting. It's not anyanga seo. It's enjoy. <laughs> you go. Or not cold. <laughs> Too Two ladies I just saw <laughs> rugged up. <laughs> People don't realise that I get hot when I'm hiking. Uh, it's trees over there. Unfortunately we are following a road around them but I'll still have a look in and see if there's any spots because I'd like to stop. I'm over 24k now. The sun is gone and the wind is up and <laughs> now I put the jacket on and I'm not liking the look of the clouds over there. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be all nice and snug in my tent if it starts raining. That looks like a flat spot up there. I'm going to go and have a look. Hello, it's starting to rain and it's flat enough. The road's just down there. That was the flat part I saw but it, it wasn't very good. And I found this and it's flat enough. <laughs> it's not fully flat but um, it actually is better than what it looks in the angle. So happy with that. It, uh, it's raining on and off at the moment, so this is my first test of the tent, see how it goes. It's raining again. 